Hi everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you my holiday makeup and skincare collection. All of it is in this one bag. I managed to get everything in here, which is an absolute first for me. I normally have two bags bigger than this. This is a collection of makeup and skincare that works for me in dry, wet and hot conditions and you can mix it up. It also has makeup here that will take you from day to night so you can have that casual look and then you can have that glam look but really quickly, really easily. These are tried and tested beautiful products that I really do trust and I cannot wait to show you. I've been on holiday in the UK with this set and I'll be going abroad into the heat with this set and I'm just so delighted I got it down to this size honestly for me. This really is a first. And if you're new here, hi, my name's Hannah. I'm 47, not a professional, just somebody who loves makeup and beauty. And here on my channel, I like to show you my favorite products, review the latest products, and give you any beauty news and tips that I think might interest you. If you think you'd enjoy that, I would love it so much if you liked and subscribed and hit that notification bell. If you're already subscribed, welcome back and thank you so very, very much for returning to my channel. It means a lot to me. I would love to chat with you in the comment section below. It does boost my channel when we chat, but most of all, honestly, I absolutely love getting to know everybody. It's been the, my favorite part of being a creator. So I would love to hear from you in the comment section below. And my skin, if that's helpful to you, I've got fair to light skin with neutral, slightly cool undertones. And I've got combination skin with a slightly oily T-zone. Anyway, that's enough about me. Let's get on with this video. I've managed to get it all into this case. This is actually one that came free with a Chantecaille purchase. So I really do love this case. But as we're talking about cases, I just very quickly want to show you the case I will be taking on holiday because this one I might even get my brushes and maybe even my hair care into. And that is this one from Rare Beauty. I was attracted to this mostly because I just think it's beautiful, but it's such a good bag. I love that it's got this sort of puffer feel to it on the outside. And then you've got this zip up section here, which you can get so much into. And then you've got this lovely handle. I've actually picked up two of these. I'm thinking of using one for my bathroom products. And then it's got this zip section here. And oh, I forgot I had the Rare Beauty headband in there as well. And then in this section here, you've got this deep pocket here. And then brushes, I was thinking, could go inside here. So this is going to be my actual holiday bag. And I think everything will go in here. And I probably will take this just because it's the cutest thing I've ever bought in my life. So this is the keychain from Rare Beauty and this is their puffy toiletry bag, puffy tote, sorry, keychain. Just how adorable is this? And I can fit a couple of my minis in here. I don't actually have the Rare Beauty minis. I've got mini perfumes though. I've got a mini lipstick and I've got a mini gloss. How adorable. But then you could use this just for, if I was on holiday, I think it'd probably be more like one lipstick and one lip balm on the edge of my keys or even clipped onto the edge of my bag. But how adorable is that? So I'll try my best to whiz through these products. These are all products I have discussed on my channel before, so I won't go into great detail. And if you know me, you know this is a favorite lip oil of mine from Delilah. This is the Lip Savior. First thing I apply every single day of the year. And on holidays, this would be perfect for taking out for daily top-ups, but I certainly start my look with that and it enhances my lip color and gives me that hydration, which my lips are desperate for after cleansing my face in the morning. So I got a free mini Tia Tia toner when I ordered my Tia Tia foundations. In fact, I got two, which was super handy. I won't use that now because I'm gonna keep it for travel. And I use this toner every single day. So this is my Tia Tia toner. It's got this, I'm trying to show you and it's rolling down my hand. It's got this milky uh, finish and I use this every single day. Next, my ROC Under Eye Vitamin C Balm. So easy and nice and small for packing. Followed by the ROC Multi Correction Vitamin C Serum. Both of these ROC products are new to me this year. Both sit beautifully under makeup. This serum has a lovely orange scent and I just love them and I always use vitamin C every morning. This serum will give you quite a glow. So if you want a glow coming through beneath your makeup, this is the one to go for. If you don't want a glow, then I tend to use the Dr. Sam Bunchings. Then in with my SPF 50, this is the one I've been loving this year from Mary and May, the Psyche or Seeker Soothing Cream. 
This is the softest, most gentle sunscreen I think I've ever owned and I love that it's factor 50. Adding more for the forehead and then taking more down the neck and onto the chest area as well. And as that dries down I do my eyebrows and I've been using the Victoria Beckham Feather Fix. Here it is and I've got this in light brunette and since this launched I've been using this a lot. It's become one of my staples. One of the aims with my travel bag is also I want things to be quick and easy and this is definitely one of the quick and easy ways to do your brows. I don't necessarily want a perfected finish with my summer vibe. I do like to make it a bit more glamorous and top it up maybe if I want more of an evening look or more of a glamorous look generally. But I also want it to be quick and easy. I do a lot of makeup as we all do for work and obviously with my job I do an awful lot. So on holiday I don't want to be spending hours doing my makeup but I still want to feel pretty. So this is a very easy product and everything you're going to see in this video is easy. And then Victoria Beckham Baby Blade and I've got this one in light brown. And here is how the tip on this one looks. Very fine but it's that sort of diamond shape so not my number one but I have been enjoying this. I have got a new one which I'll be showing soon on the channel which I do actually prefer at the moment but this one I was using on my holiday so I thought I'd add this in. So just line a little bit underneath both brows then turning to the sharper edge of the blade and taking up to fill anywhere where I've got some gaps. Then the Makeup Forever pencil in Boundless Bisque which I use every single day underneath the brow to help it to really pop. I use this instead of concealer, it's just quicker and I just love it. And the Victoria Beckham Instant Brightening pencil which is tiny because I use it every single day for a pop of brightness here in the waterline. Every single day I use this one and the Makeup Forever one under the brow. Oh, I forgot to show you, I took this mirror on holiday as well because it's smaller and it fits in the bag. This was actually in the green bag just now. I got this free with my Huda Beauty purchase when I got their new blushes. So, love this mirror. And I'm not using any sort of primer. I'm finding that in the summer I just really don't need anything else on my face. I've got enough moisture on my face so I'm ready to go straight in with foundation. So, for this holiday and for my next holiday I'm packing two. That is the Lisa Eldridge Skin Tint and the Tear Tear Foundation. The Lisa Eldridge will be for more casual looks and for when I really want a light base. So this one will be particularly good when I go abroad. I'm going to Croatia, it's going to be 30 plus degrees every day. So this could be my trusted option. It's my best skin tint in my collection. Very reliable, does last all day, but doesn't quite give you as much coverage as I get with the Tear Tear, obviously. So it's a choice of which coverage I'm looking for. So. I do think the tear tear sits very lightly though so I'd be happy with both and if I'm honest I took both of these on holiday and it was the tear tear I reached for every day. So I've got this in the travel size so I'm not going to use this, I want to keep this ready for my holiday and I will use the full size today. And if you see me use this it's one press and then swipe off because you end up with way too much on the puff. Now this does give you quite a full coverage but if you don't add any more to the puff and you've got quite a lot of skincare underneath it can actually be slightly reduced but I've managed to get too much on my puff <laughs> definitely. I thought I'd scraped off and I haven't. Look at the difference. That's what happens when you don't scrape off enough tear tear so my, my mistake but maybe it's good you see that mistake because I must have caught a bit extra on the side of the pad so don't do that. I'm actually going to go in with a sponge to take some of that off because that is way too much on that side. So the reason I love this one for holiday is it's for me the quickest to apply, super super quick and easy. It's also got factor 40 and if you go for any of the other pink or black tier tier foundations they've got factor 50 in. So I'm topping up my SPF which for holiday is great and then if you did want to top up during the day you know you're adding even more SPF to your skin. It's, this red one has also got quite a lot of skin care, it's very hydrating but it's lightweight, it doesn't feel heavy even though it's giving you full coverage. So for me it's perfect, it also locks in and this will not move, very reliable, doesn't cake, it's fine in all weathers. On my holiday in the UK, like I said, we had hot and cold and we had a lot of rain. We were staying in a lake house and we were out on a lake a lot, so I was getting wet and all sorts of things and we had a lot of humidity. 
This lasted in all of those conditions. And then for concealer, I wanted to keep it simple and not have two shades. And I wanted one that's really quick and easy to apply and is hydrating. And that is this one from Aborian. This is their Super BB Concealer. This one just sits very nicely on the skin. It never cakes up. It's just super reliable. Now for brushes, I didn't take this, but I'm hoping to take this to Croatia. This is the Mario F40 brush, which I've very, F4 brush, sorry, which I've only just purchased. This has been around for a long time, but I like the look of this one because it's foundation and concealer. So I didn't use this for the tear tear, but I would use it for the skin tint. And this end is supposed to work well for concealer so I'm testing this actually rather than recommending it and by the end of the video I can tell you whether I'll be taking it but so far I mean it does feel a little bit big compared with the concealer brushes I use but it does blend it very nicely and it certainly is soft I've got a similar brush to this um, from Charlotte Tilbury which has a finer end on it but I find that one a little bit tough on the skin this so far very soft actually so if I can keep my brush packing down, this could be my main brush. And before I move on to any more concealer, this was the other thing I took on my holiday. And I think this one is an absolute legendary product for holiday. And that is the HD Skin Face Essentials Palette from Make It Forever. Very well lived by me. So you could skip all of the products I've just used, which I was tempted to do, and I'd probably be really happy with it, but I just wanted certain favorites on my holiday. But this can be used for your foundation by mixing colors together. I mix these two, and you can use the lightest one for your concealer. Then you can contour, bronze, blush, sorry, blush here, highlight here. This is fabulous and you can cut out just about everything. Take this and some powder and this will last. It does last as long as you powder down a bit. So this can pretty much take over from most of the products I'm showing you. But because I'm a bit of a first part, I like to take a few other things. So this, I, some days I might do that and that's why I'd take this whole palette for that reason, just so I can just quickly do everything. This with the skin tint, the Lisa Eldridge skin tint, perfect. So I've gone into this shade here, which is the shade I like to use for contour. And I think this brush, by the way, the smaller end is perfect for this palette. And you can see this is a super contour shade for me. I love this. I've been dipping in and out of this palette, not just for holiday, for contour and bronze mostly. They're the things I use it the most for. I've been dipping in and out of it ever since I first got it. I really love it. And then for a bit of cream bronzer, I like to mix these two together. And I love the combination of these two. It gives me a little bit of warmth, but not too much for my skin tone. And it's such a natural finish. I love it. My BK Beauty 207 brush has to come with me on holiday. I use this for so much. And I use this now to contour down the nose. I'm doing this very quickly, so forgive me if this is not looking perfect. Now I could go in with the Arborian concealer, which is perfect, but I can also now just use this, seeing as I've got it out, and that's another reason why it's so perfect. So for a bit of concealer to brighten down the nose here, and a bit of contour under the lip, I forgot to do. Can you see how rosy my lips look as well from that lip saviour? Honestly, every time I see the difference from using it, I just, I love it. I've got 22% off Delilah. I need to remind you about that. Actually, I'll change brushes. I'll go back to the Mario brush. You can see why I get this palette filthy because I don't clean the brush off. I just whiz through right or wrong. So a little bit of the brightening concealer underneath the contour line there. And then a bit here where I like to brighten and by there as well. I might use the thicker end to just go in with a little bit of a blush. I will be using a powder blush to finish, but I might just put a little bit because it's nice to layer. This is totally optional and not something I would do most days in all honesty. I might just powder over this when I'm using a skin tint and that would be my look complete. But I'm just trying to show you all of the different options that I like to have with me on holiday. And this brush is really doing the job so far so I think this brush will be coming with me and replacing lots of brushes so brilliant so far very happy with that and you can see you can do so much with this palette honestly if you, if you buy one thing for holiday 
I would get this. Now for setting powder, I can't be without my favourite. So obviously I have the travel size of the Givenchy Prisme Libre in shade 3. So this beautiful, sweet little travel set comes with its own puff. I didn't think I'd be able to use the puff. I didn't think it would be enough, but I, it was actually perfect. And I did use the puff. I took my own puffs with me. So I tapped some in here. But I ended up using this one because it is actually perfect it doesn't have the edges I normally have with a puff but I found I could sort of curl this one up like this and then set under the eyes and set on top and I'll basically now set my t-zone and put a light layer across the whole of my face because I am locking this in for a look that I would like to last so I know on holiday when we go to Croatia we're likely to be out on the water quite a lot we're staying in a hotel right by the edge of the water and it's got a water taxi to take you to Dubrovnik if you know Dubrovnik so that's something we'll probably be doing most days so considering it's going to be 30 degrees and we're going to be out on the water and getting sprayed I want my makeup to last I don't want to look at it again all day so I want this locked down so I'm powdering all over and so for my powders, I took this from Hourglass. Now, I don't know if you can still get this one. It was limited edition and I think it might have sold out. I absolutely love this one. They're not new shades, but I love them. But if I didn't have this, I would go for the six pan ones they have at Christmas. So I've got the snake brush as well, which I use for all four. Not quite so precise as it might be if you had all your other brushes, but why pack all those brushes when you don't have to? So I'll go in with some bronzer. I love this palette, it's so summery, so easy to apply. It just blends out in seconds. It helps to lock down that makeup as well. And it's just a really, really summery, lovely vibe. And then in with either of these blushes, I'm going to go with the lightest one today. And I'll just sweep that here. Now obviously I'm not getting the precision you get with other brushes, as I said, but this brush does do the job. It does get into those pans. And you can get away with it. I think I'll use the Mario brush though to go in with for the highlighter because I do want that to be a bit smaller. I don't know how good it'll be for that. I was just, I'm trying to limit my brushes. I really don't want to take another one for highlight. I think that worked actually. So I did that by, because it's a very dense brush, it picks up a lot, but I'm just patting on a little bit and a little bit down the nose and the cupid's bow but I do need to pack my Sonia G buffer pro because this is a brush I cannot have a day of my life without so this one is perfect now for just going over everything and making sure everything is blended out and another reason I love this one is because this highlighter and bronzer are perfect for a quick eye look so again Lisa Aldridge skin tint and then just go in with the Make It Forever blush and bronze powder down and then maybe use this over the eyes. That is the quick makeup look that I would ch choose to use. But I'm going to show you the look for when I want a slightly better look. So I used two different eyeshadow bases. One was the Armani eye tint and one was the Bobbi Brown. Now I got this free from Bobbi Brown so it's a little dinky travel one which is ideal. But I'll start by showing you the Armani. So this is shade 22 which is deep beige. I do also have the Camel so I I actually took both on this trip but I think you could probably get away with just the one. So with this you've got quite a bit of time to work with it so I put it here and I did take a brush on this holiday but I've used it since and found you can actually do this just as easily if not better with your finger which is good because then you can really reduce your packing again. So this gives you a lovely easy base. I've got a huge collection of liquid and cream eyeshadows and I can honestly say this one is the best I've ever tried. It's the easiest to apply, it lasts all day. I, I love it, I love them. I've got quite a few of them now. So using the fine tip of this, I'll take this underneath. And before I finish that eye look, I'm going to do the other side using the Bobbi Brown because I can't decide which one I prefer. So I'll probably end up taking both. This is in the shade Golden Amber. Obviously this is going to give me a different finish. Look how pretty this is. Now this is probably as easy to apply as the Armani. So when I say the Armani is the easiest, this one is as easy. I just slightly prefer the Armani for the look I'm going to show you. Look how pretty this one is. And this one can go underneath as well. Very easy with this sort of nib to just go under the eye 
So both eyes done with no brushes in seconds. A bit of eyeliner and mascara and I'm good to go for that easy everyday look. And then if I want to bring it to the evening and I want to glam up without taking any of this off and just improve it, the one I took was actually the Victoria Beckham Lid Lustre. I've got this one in Blondie. I'm not sure if this shade is still around any of these sorts of ones. I love the Pat McGrath ones as well. I've got a huge collection of these type of toppers or shimmers. Look at that, it's gorgeous. But I'm not going to try this on because I've actually got a new one for holiday which I think I'll be taking and this one is from Jordana Tisha, Jordana Tisha and this is called her Twinkle Tower. So this has four different toppers and that's why I want to take it because that means I can take my look from day to night in a flash in four different ways. This has four compartments, it's only 16 pounds. It even has a mirror and you've got this light one here which is icy and then the next one is gilded. This one's a soft yellow gold and then the next one is posy, a rose gold and then lastly we've got nova which is a silver. So these are toppers, so you wouldn't expect them to have a lot of pigment. So that's exactly what they're designed for, is to give you a topper. But they are quite pigmented, to be fair, the two of them anyway. But here are the four shades there. They're not show, showing up very well on camera because they are toppers. I think I'm going to go with Posy, the rose gold, on this side. And just tap this across. So because I've got that cream base from Armani, look how it just adheres to that so well and it will last. It won't move, it locks in. That's another reason why I love using the cream with this sort of topper. So immediately you've gone day to night and that's how quick it was. Again, no brushes, all with my fingers. So the Bobbi Brown doesn't really need to be amped up and taken day to night because it's already got that lovely sparkle. But I'm going to go in with Gilded and just put a little bit more, oh, a lot more actually. These really pop when you put them on, don't they? Look at that, whoa. Always pack a few of these as well. Always take at least enough for two a day. They are so handy, these tipped cotton buds, Q-tips pointed rather. We're getting rid of that shimmer and just tidying up. And I'm going to go into Icy with my trusty 207 and just take that into the very first section of the lid and into the inner corner. I could also do this with the highlighter from the Hourglass palette. I just want to use this for everything so I'm going to take it under the brow. It's giving me a lot of shimmer so this is very much a glam evening look. So there are the two different looks I created. But you could create multiple looks because there are four shades here. Honestly, £16, it's half the price, I think, of just one of the Victoria Beckham Lid Luster. And I could create multiple looks. If I just pack this and just this, that's four different looks and go day to night, however you choose. So I think that's a tiny little bit to go into your packing and perfect. Now for eyeliner, I could take a few of my favourites, but I actually tested this one recently from Jones Rose and I've really enjoyed how creamy and easy this one is to apply because as I said, I'm going for ease here. I like the fact it's a pencil tip, so make sure it's sharpened before you go away. You don't want to pack a sharpener, I don't anyway, and then just line. And this really does apply so easily. It locks down all day and it's really creamy. So it's just a really simple, easy eyeliner. If I wasn't taking this, I'd probably go for Victoria Beckham or one of my Charlotte Tilbury or one of the new ones from Dior. And I did take my Merit Number no. 2 brush, so you could use the thicker end of this for those cream products, but I didn't end up needing it at all today. Fingers was fine. But the fine tip on this is very good for the eyeliner when you want to just smooth it out and shape it a bit. And this eyeliner does give you quite a bit of time to do that doesn't dry down fast. And this certainly isn't necessary, but something I like to do, and that's to choose one fancy eyeshadow that I just want when I want a very different look, if I just want the choice. So I've been thinking, which one should I take? I love the Natasha Denona 5 strip, you know, with the small, very travel-friendly ones. So I've been trying to figure out which one of those I might take. But then Pat McGrath came out with this one, the Opalescent Orchid. And if you've seen me try this on, I think this has got summer written all over it. I love this. So I'll be taking this one on my holiday for a very different colourful look 
when I want to move away from one of these looks. For mascara, I took the Swede Cloud Mascara in brown, which has become a firm favourite of mine. But also the Lisa Aldridge Kitten is another option, and I might be taking that one to Croatia because it is so waterproof. Even though this one held it very well for me at the lake house, this is the one I took and I love it. Very easy for a quick coat. I don't like a lot of mascara, especially in hot weather when your eyes are just getting sticky. I don't really want to feel it on my lashes. But I do think the Kiss and Mascara from Lisa Aldridge will be coming to Croatia just for that extra security with waterproof. And these are my top two mascaras at the moment. Now for lips, there's so many lipsticks I could take that it's just difficult to choose and I would pack my bag up and have too many. So I decided to take none. I just took this from Pat McGrath. This is a beautiful shade which pretty much goes with everything. This is her new Dramatic Lip Liner. Sorry it's in such a mess. And this one's called a Naked Seduction. And the reason I like this is you can line and fill your lips all in one. I don't need to pack liners and this was just a really simple, easy way. So just go in with it as a liner. That's how it looks as a liner. And now you could just wear a gloss, you could, or fill your lips. This is super creamy, very comfortable, but so slim and easy to pop in your handbag and to top with, up with during the day. So this is a winner for me. There's so many lipsticks I could pack and I, I, honestly resisting that is hard, but I just think this is easy and that's what I want. And I really love the finish on this, but I did want a lip gloss in case I want that extra shine. So I took my Dior Lip Maximizer. This one's in the shade 010. Rather than mess it up on top of the lipstick, I put some on my finger and then just pat it on. So that just gives me a little bit more shine, a bit more hydration, a bit of plumping, but this can also be used for when you just want to have that really natural look and you don't want to wear lipstick. So that's another reason why I pack this. So those two together, that was it for my lips. Now for setting spray, I got this free with a Charlotte Tilbury order. I'm not going to use this. I need to keep every single drop. So this is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, one of my most trusted sprays. So I'll be taking this one on holiday. I also took this face mist from Chantecaille for when I just wanna freshen up. So I'm actually gonna put that one on today. This is not particularly necessary, but I just, I got this recently. I just wanted a treat and I wanted the rose scent if nothing else. This is so beautiful. A really fine mist, a lovely smell. Reminds me of the Delilah. I still prefer the Delilah though, but anyway. This one is lovely, so I wanted to use this up and I think it's so refreshing and nice to have something like this, especially in a, on a hot holiday. So this one will probably come in my bag with me throughout the day. So that's all the makeup I took. The only other extras I want to quickly show you is for topping up with lip balm during the day. This is something I use at home every day. This is from Ole Henriksen. This is the peptide lip treatment. Any of the scents, this one's <laughs> nearly run out. I keep one of these with me all the time and just top up for that hydration to stop me getting dry lips and nothing beats this one for me. I also took this Miriam May Sunstick. So it's really good for the body. So you just do quick top ups. You can get sunsticks from lots of places. I just happen to love Miriam May at the moment. So here's how it looks on the skin. It's not greasy, there's no white casts. So you can just do sort of emergency top ups on hands, arms, neck, and the face if you wanted to. I wouldn't necessarily do that. I would go with a sun spray for that. I've got the Naked Sundays SPF 50 spray. So definitely in Croatia, this is something I'll be taking out with me if I think my face needs a top up. So just to give you an idea, again, no white cast with this. It's just a mist, a refreshing mist, but it's giving me that SPF 50. So it also has a lovely summer smell to it. So highly recommend this one from Naked Sundays if you're going to be in very hot weather and you want that top up without ruining your makeup. And the last thing, which probably didn't fit in this bag because I put it in my hair care bag and that is perfume. And these are the ones I took on that holiday and that's what I'll be taking on my next holiday. And this is the one from Kayali, the vacay set. I love mixing these up together. So you can start the morning mixing two and then you can change the way you mix it in the evening, midday. It does doesn't have great longevity which is why I say mixing it throughout the day so every time I have a sort of refresh of anything in the day I refresh my perfume and slightly change the scent which I love to do some of you might want that scent to last all day and I wouldn't go for this but these are sweet gourmand holiday in a bottle perfume and honestly they are so much fun I think I need these for every single holiday the, the best perfume set I've ever bought I love it 
So that is everything for my holiday. I have loved showing you all of this. I've loved trying to get this together. The only thing I slightly agonized over was the lips because there's so many and I must confess, maybe I will end up taking just one lipstick bullet, but how to choose. Anyway, that definitely fits into my bag and I've never, ever, ever packed a bag this light ever for any holiday. So I'm really proud of myself and I will be sticking to it because it's just easier. Plus I like to take all of my makeup on the plane with me. I don't like it to go into my big case because the one thing I cannot ever risk losing is my makeup. So my makeup, all of it, comes on the plane with me in my travel bag. So keeping it small obviously is best because you don't want, you could, because of the liquid limitations you have when you're taking it actually with you. And also because you don't want a heavy bag. So trust me, I've had much heavier bags though when I've taken more. So I've gone to London for four days and packed twice this amount. So to go abroad and pack this amount for me is a real, real win. And my husband will be shocked, really shocked when he sees the size of my makeup bag which I normally make him carry around the airport because it's so heavy. Anyway, I've really enjoyed making this. I would love to hear from you. What are your favourites for travel? Have you used any of the ones that I've shown you today or do you have some top tips you could share with me and everybody watching this video? I'm sure they would love to hear from you as well. I certainly would. And if you're not subscribed, please do like and subscribe. And if you already are, thank you so much for watching another video of mine and for being so loyal. I really do appreciate all of you very, very much. And I hope to see every single one of you for my next video. Take care, everybody. Bye.